13 Olives is a family owned and operated gourmet food store specializing in fine olive oils and balsamic vinaigrettes. Let's experience the world of fine olive oils. Well, we are here at 13 Olives with Jean Litz, the owner, and Jean, this place is amazing. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you for coming today. Well, thanks for having us. And you're going to use some of your olive oil products and vinegars to create some dishes for us today. Yep. We're going to create some really fun, easy, seasonal dishes that are healthy. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. So let's get started. Let's get right, right to it. So we're actually going to start with our stir fry. We're going to do a shrimp and butternut squash stir fry rice. Mm. So we have to get the squash starting to cook, and then we're going to switch back and go to the salad. So. It'll be fun. Excellent. So we have our pan. We're going to get hot. Uh, we're starting off with an extra virgin olive oil called Koroneki. The Koroneki is a little more robust extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, maybe folks could understand like the difference between extra virgin olive oil and the different types of olive oil. Sure, yeah, there's a lot of confusion with extra virgin olive oil. Um, with our quality standard, it far surpasses the extra virgin olive oil quality standard. Part of this is done through the freshness, through the traceability, like exactly where it's coming from. Each one of the olive oils come from a single estate. So there's multi-factored things that go on with olive oil. This one is actually a Chilean olive oil, so it's very fresh because they press their olive oil in May. And then Italy, Portugal, Spain, they'll actually press in the fall. So we got our olive oil nice and hot. All We're right. gonna add some butternut squash that I diced up. What a nice recipe, as you said, a seasonal recipe. Yeah, seasonal with a little bit of a Asian twist, I guess you could say. Excellent. So we're just going to let these work, let them cook, mm -hmm. get a little caramelization on them. All right. And then we're going to move over to the salad. Okay. We have some field greens here. There's some baby spinach, some baby oak leaf. You can usually just buy it in a pre-mixed container. It's already cleaned, ready to go. Yeah, I love that. So then we have some fennel. And we're just going to shave the fennel pretty thin. Yeah, fennel has a very distinctive flavor. Yeah, it almost has a anise yes, kind yes. of flavor. Yeah. Since it can be a little bit stronger, we're not going to really add that much. Okay. We have a red pear. Beautiful. We're just going to slice it. Very simple. So far we got the fennel, we have the greens, we have some red pear. pear. These are just Florida oranges. Okay. We have a little dried cranberry. These are maple pepitas, maple pumpkin seeds. These come from a farm in upstate New York. We actually sell butternut squash and pumpkin seed oil as well. Oh, interesting. So pretty much all our ingredients are in there. Now the vinaigrette for this is going to be our blood orange olive oil mixed with our cranberry pear white balsamic. So you can see it's about 50-50 yeah, ratio. Yeah, the separation. I put it together just to save a little time. Okay. But really honestly, if you're making this at home, you can just drizzle a little bit of each and toss the salad oh. that way. But it comes together really nicely, as you can see. And then we're going to season with a little salt. Mm-hmm and a little fresh cracked pepper. So we just want to make sure all the greens are coated mm -hmm. nicely. Mm -hmm. The cranberry pear is a great balsamic for the fall. It's got a sweetness to it. The blood orange olive oil matches perfectly with it. It's actually an olive oil that takes whole blood oranges and olives and they press them at the same time. So it's got a really nice citrusy zest to it. Interesting. So we'll go ahead and plate our salad. Okay. Making sure we have a little bit of each ingredient in there. I love that red pear. Yeah, I noticed them at the grocery store yesterday. I figured that would add some nice color to yeah. the dish. Then the last thing we have is, this is Der Alpenkasse. This is a Gruyere style cheese from Amish country, actually in Howard, Ooh. Pennsylvania. Interesting. Isn't yeah. Gruyere the one they put on the French onion soup? Yeah, okay. absolutely. So it's a great melting cheese as well, but yeah. we're just gonna shave a little with our peeler on the top there. Nice. Just a little bit, because it's very rich. So here we have it, our fall salad with seasonal ingredients with our blood orange olive oil and cranberry pear white balsamic. Coming up next. So now that we have the salad finished, we're gonna go back to our stir fry. We mm -hmm. have our butternut squash. As you can see, we have some nice caramelization on there. Yep, looking good. Okay. Now that we have the salad finished, we're going to go back to our stir fry. We mm -hmm. have our butternut squash. As you can see, we have some nice caramelization on there. Yep, looking good. Yeah, okay. And there's still a little bit of residual olive oil in there, which is okay because we're going to add our shrimp next. 
Now the shrimp don't take that long. I think it's fun to note that when folks come in here, like not to be intimidated because I mean, you kind of take them through the whole process and give them great ideas like this, what to do with some of oh, the yeah, olive Oh yeah, absolutely. Oil. I'll walk everybody through. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a different need for the olive oil absolutely. and vinegar. A lot of people are just doing salads. Right. Some people love to cook with them. Mm -hmm. I just added a little bit of black pepper. Okay. We're not going to add salt because there's going to be soy sauce and that's salty. So. Yes. Then we have some red bell pepper to mm -hmm. add a little crunch, some nice color. The shrimp at this point is about halfway cooked because it's not going to take that long. I'm always amazed though how much flavor comes through with the olive oil. Like, and you don't have to use a whole ton of it, but it really flavors it nicely. Yeah, a lot of people will ask, well, does it really make a difference when you're cooking with it? And it absolutely does. If you're using a bad olive oil, it tends to give a greasiness to it. It has yeah. a, gives it a bad flavor, which you don't want to add a bad flavor to your dish. So right. I try to use the best ingredients, fresh cracked pepper, a good sea salt, mm -hmm. etc. Next, we have some fresh ginger. I like ginger, so we're going to add probably about three tablespoons of fresh ginger. Give that a toss. Garlic. This came from my house. I grew it. Nice. And scallion, green onion. So GGS, that's ginger garlic scallion. Mm -hmm. Next, we have a little bit of sherry wine vinegar. We're only gonna add a little bit. I like to use this in cooking a lot, and especially in combination with soy sauce. It makes a really nice kind of pan sauce, so to speak. This is uh, jasmine rice is pre-cooked. And the reason why is because you wanna do your rice the day before. So I did this last night. When it's cold, it's actually better in a stir fry. Yeah, Won't stick that. to the bottom of the pan as much. Ah, oh, okay. And if you can kind of hear that sizzling, yeah. that's what you want. So you can get, sometimes you get a little piece of rice that jumps out of there. Yeah, This yeah. will give the, the rice a little crunch, so to speak. And the last thing we're gonna do is sherry wine vinegar, soy, and then we'll finish it with our Japanese toasted sesame oil. Oh, which wow. will make it really, really rich. <laughs> nice. So sherry wine vinegar, just a little bit. Soy sauce, maybe three tablespoons. Now it's starting to look like a stir fry. Yes, it is. The rice will absorb all of that. The sherry wine vinegar cooks off, so it's not like really vinegary, mm -hmm. but it does add a different kind of layer of flavor that you right, want. Right, for sure. Uh, we're gonna add some chili pepper for some heat. If you like it, if not, you can omit that. And then lastly, our Japanese toasted sesame oil. Mm -hmm. It's a very rich sesame oil. You can be pretty generous with it. And the thing I like about this is the steam coming off of that, you can smell it already. The, oh, the sesame, yes. as soon as it yes. hits that hot rice, really gives it a beautiful oh, aroma. So we're gonna put a couple chili peppers, cause I like heat, and a little bit of scallion just to give it some color. And that's our take on our fall stir fry with shrimp and butternut squash. Excellent. Well, the stir fry and the salad look fabulous. And you also have another display here. Yeah, I put this together ahead of time. This is just an antipasta platter. Pretty much everything that you see here, except for the pear, we have at the store. So we have a local supersada. This is Dimichi local supersada. We have sweet and hot. We have a pecorino with truffle. It's a softer pecorino, studded with black truffle mushroom. The bread, which I make on the weekends. Uh, my mustard that I make. It's like a country style mustard. My mother actually makes the fruit spread. This is a pineapple mango balsamic fruit spread. Wow. So it goes really well with a sharper cheese. Parmesan Reggiano, some crackers, some olives. So you can really create this yourself just by grabbing a handful of ingredients here at the store and have a nice dish for your guests if you're having people or a holiday oh gathering. Oh my God, so. one stop. And you, I mean, and I love this like rustic presentation. Like there's Thank just something you. about it. It's absolutely lovely. So I want everyone to know the process when they stop at 13 Olives because there's some people that might not know what it sure. is. So let's just take them right through it. Okay, yeah. So we do have a lot of people come in and they might be like a little intimidated. They're not sure because they don't know which olive oil they're looking for, which balsamic they're looking for. And so I just start off by asking questions and being nice and finding out what their intention is. Are they going to be making salads primarily? A lot of people are doing that because they're start starting to eat healthy and they don't want to use a salad dressing that's loaded with sodium and fat, etc. And so in that case, I might direct them towards a combination like the cranberry pear, blood orange, 
let them try it. There are certain ones, for instance, that are very popular, like our garlic infused olive oil. Almost everybody loves it. You can cook with it. You can use it in salads, etc. So really just try to find out what people want, show them through the store, and of course they can taste it while they're here so they know if they like it or not. So it's not just olive oil. Right, we have olive oils. One olive oil like we use today is not infused with any flavor. We have several of those. We also have infused olive oils, and then we have balsamic vinegars, both white and dark balsamic vinegars. In fact, a whole room full of them back there. And then besides that, seasoning, spices, sea salts. It really is a great place to stop and pick up olive oil, but it, this is also a great place to stop to pick up gifts because yes. there's a lot of people that are foodies and love to cook, and this is Primo. Yep, we sell a lot of gifts for sure. And in fact, that's how a lot of people find out about us because they get the gift, they use it, they love it, they come back. But we'll wrap anything for you. We can do customized gift baskets. We can also ship. There's more information on our website, uh, 13olives.com. We have a Facebook as well. And they can stop in and talk to me. I'm almost always here. My name is Gene. We're 13 Olives. We're located at 222 Northern Boulevard, Clark Summit, Pennsylvania, right next to the state PA uh, wine and liquor store. So it's very easy to find if you know where that is. Um, we're very friendly. We're ready to help you when you come in and help you with whatever needs that you might want in terms of olive oil, vinegar, and different food or recipe ideas if you'd like that too. Terrific. Gene, thanks again for having us. You're welcome. Thank you.